Three, two, one. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to do our video tutorial for assignment two, which we are using flight data set to predict whether the flight is delayed or not. In doing that, we are going to choose only the flight that is not being cancelled. We also remove some other attributes which do not contribute thing in our performance. Other than that, we also generate another two attributes which are the continuity thing and arrival delay which indicate whether the flight is delayed or not. Zero is no, zero is no, and one is yes. Firstly, we are going to use a wake up to our classification and classroom pass. First, we need to open the file. We are going to use We need to change attributes that is not nominal to nominal, which in this case, there is some attributes that is numeric. So we are going to change numeric to nominal and apply it. And then click the classify. Choose any models that we want to use. But for in this case, we are going to use one hour. Click on the use training set. Choose the attributes that we want to be predicted, which is the particular and start. So we can see here that Weka is correctly predicted our data set. And the performance is 100% and the speed rate is 1.0. Next, we are going to do the clustering, but first we need to save this result into Excel. As we can see here, this is the data set that has been generated by Weka. There are two another attributes which are predicted margin and predicted delay. So to do the clustering, we only choose the flight that is predicted to be delayed because we want to see the pattern whether there is a certain airplanes that have the most flight delay. So we are going to open the file in Weka. Oh, that have been classified. Click the cluster button. Choose any models that we want to use. And for this task, we are using simple key means. And start. As we can see here, there are two categories that is being clustered, zero and one. And the airlines that have been chosen to be clustered is AA and MQ. This indicates that these both airlines have the most flight delay. So this result might be used for the stakeholders to do the prediction in future. So that's all from us. For this tutorial, which is using web to do the clustering and classification class. Thank you.